The thin horned sheep is one of two sheep species native to the North American continent and is one of the most unique overall in appearance, which can vary from entirely white to a darker brown and has been the subject of recent study. There was previously thought to be three to four types of sheep within this range, including Dahl sheep, which is entirely white and found to the northwest of the range, Stone's sheep, which is found to the south and exhibits a darker coloration, and Fannin's sheep, which has recently been shown to be a hybrid of the two, rather than a distinct subspecies. Thinhorn sheep are highly sexually dimorphic, both in size, which can be up to double the body weight in males, who weigh up to 250 pounds, and in the shape of the horns. Females have thinner horns, which are straighter, whereas those of the males are much larger and curled. These horns grow only in the spring, summer and fall, a cycle that results in rings called annuli, which can be used to determine the age of the sheep. These alpine-loving animals are classified as migratory, with most individuals occupying distinct summer and winter ranges. One of the most popular places to see this species is Sheep Mountain, found on the edge of Kluwani National Park in the Yukon, which is also home to grizzly bears, boreal owls and many other incredible species. The thin horn sheep has a distinct range from the second North American species found to the south, between Canada, the US and Mexico. The bighorn sheep is arguably the most well known of the sheep species. It is slightly larger than the thin horn sheep, weighing up to 280 pounds, and can be further categorised into three subspecies. The Rocky Mountain bighorn sheep occupies the northern portion of their range and is the provincial mammal of Alberta in addition to the state animal of Colorado. The desert bighorn sheep, found to the south of their range between several US states and Mexico including Zion National Park in Utah where this footage is taken, and finally the Sierra Nevada bighorn sheep, found only in California's Sierra Nevada mountain range and is the rarest of the three with an estimated population of just 360 individuals as of 2023. Bighorn sheep breed on a yearly basis, which occurs most often in the fall, but can be as early as July or as late as December in desert bighorn sheep. Rutting season sees males competing for mating rights, using their horns to headbutt each other to assert dominance, a battle that can last for many hours. Gestation in all sheep species is around five to six months, and ewes most often give birth to a single offspring in the spring on ledges away from predators, which can include mountain lions, coyotes and wolves. Having explored both species on the North American continent, to continue our journey we must travel across the Atlantic and into Africa to visit our first controversial species. The Audad, also known as the Barbary sheep, is the only wild sheep species found in Africa and is one of two species we'll explore in this video found outside of the genus Ovis. The inclusion of this species is somewhat controversial as some sources claim it is inappropriately named and is more closely related to the goats of the Capra genus, whose members we'll explore in a future video. The Audad has a distinctive appearance exhibiting long hair around the chest and neck, which is known as its ventral mane. It is found natively in the mountains of North Africa, where they are well adapted to the arid environment and is most active during the cooler parts of the day at dusk and dawn. This species exhibits some of the lowest population numbers of all sheep species in its native range, with an estimated 5 to 10,000 mature individuals remaining in the wild, and is one of two species with a conservation status of vulnerable. However, the Audad has now been introduced to areas in Europe and the United States, where it is now becoming a problem, particularly in Texas. This species is larger than the bighorn, weighing up to 320 pounds, and local authorities such as the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department are now making efforts to control the species, which competes not only with the bighorn, but with other species such as the mule deer for the same resources. Moving into Asia, the remaining five species are all found on the world's largest continent, most of which occupy distinct ranges, starting with a particularly confusing species found in the Middle East. The name mouflon can refer to several different types or populations of sheep and the classification for several of these have changed over the last few decades. The wild or Asiatic mouflon, at least the species defined by the IUCN, is found natively in several Middle Eastern countries, most notably in Iran. 
It is the smallest species of wild sheep, weighing just 110 pounds, and is thought to be the ancestor of all domestic sheep, which are classed as a separate species. The European mouflon refers to a sheep that is considered by many to be a subspecies of domestic sheep. It is said to have originated from Corsica and Sardinia, where it was brought from the Middle East around 8,000 years ago, and while visually quite similar, it is likely not the wild species we are looking for. The wild population in Cyprus is also interesting considering the two previous types of mouflon. There is some uncertainty as to whether these animals are considered a feral population of domestic stock, like those on Corsica and Sardinia, or whether they are introduced wild stock from Iran. However, recent genetic analysis does put distance between the Cyprus population and those found in Europe. In the late 1990s, the mouflon was considered to be the same species as our next wild sheep, but is now considered distinct. The Oriole also has a distinct distribution, being found in eight countries east of the Caspian Sea. It is present in some of the most famous mountain ranges on Earth, including the Hindu Kush in the Himalayas. They generally occur at lower elevations, but this can be as high as 13 to 14,000 feet in this part of the world. Both sexes exhibit dark brown fur, and the males of the species sport a long ventral mane that can be white, black, or a combination of the two. The Oriole is the second species on the list to be classified as vulnerable, but has a population roughly double the size of the Barbary sheep at around 18,000 mature individuals when it was last assessed in 2020. Continuing our journey east, the Tibetan Plateau is home to two species, the first of which is another controversial addition to the video. The Himalayan blue sheep, also known as the Baral, is the second species located outside of the genus Ovis, and like the Barbary sheep is claimed by some to be more similar to the goats of the Capra genus despite its name. The horns of the species are quite unique, protruding up and outwards from the top of the head instead of curling back and downwards, and their grey coats are said to have a blue tinge to them, hence the name. They are well adapted to the cold temperatures of the Himalayas, and they are generally active during the day when they split their time between grazing and resting. Despite being well camouflaged for the environment, this species has the unfortunate distinction of being one of the primary prey species of the snow leopard. As such, they are often found next to cliffs, which are more difficult for the snow leopard to traverse. The Tibetan Plateau is home to one other wild sheep species and marks our return to the Ovis genus, where we will remain for the final two species. The Argali, also known as the mountain sheep, is found not only on the Tibetan Plateau, but in a collection of areas north, each of which is home to a distinct subspecies totaling nine, the largest number of any wild sheep. This large distribution includes a wide range of habitats, and these animals are often found higher in the Alpine at elevations of up to 18,000 feet. The Argali is also the largest of all eight species, weighing up to 400 pounds, although those found in more arid habitats, such as the Gobi Desert in Mongolia, are almost half the size. One of its subspecies is named after the famous Italian merchant and explorer Marco Polo, who is the first Westerner to describe the animal, published in the 13th century travelogue, The Travels of Marco Polo. Having traversed most of the Northern Hemisphere, our circumnavigation of the globe concludes to the north in Far Eastern Russia. The snow sheep is closely related to the bighorn and thinhorn sheep, and in fact is thought to be the ancestor of the North American sheep, which crossed the Bering Land Bridge hundreds of thousands of years ago. As such, it is very similar in appearance, and is also known as the Siberian bighorn sheep. This species is roughly the same size as the North American species, weighing up to 265 pounds, and is preyed upon most often by wolves. Although their exact population is unknown, they are currently listed as least concern. There are currently seven subspecies of snow sheep, most of which are located in eastern Siberia, with the exception of one found in the Putarana Mountains of central Russia. One of these subspecies, the Kamchatkan snow sheep, is located on the Kamchatka Peninsula, alongside one of the most incredible subspecies of brown bear, which you can learn about in this video, exploring which country has the highest population of bears. Thank you so much for watching.